Hello, this is Mr. Inadequate. <coughs> the game is Distant Worlds 2. They had a new uh, update in uh, DLC, and I they uh, added Quamano and Gazurian uh, sibs. And I'm going to uh, start a game. I wanted to show you how I like to start a game. So, 700. I'm going to do the dual ring dense center. These basically how I like to set it. Now, few, which gives you quite a few pirates. Now, there's was a time when I used to set it to no pirates, but I'm playing a human game. And I noticed that you can get tech from pirates, not just through spies, but if you get a good relationship with them, they'll sell you tech. And, and sometimes, and it's been quite often in the gameplay I'm doing, they'll sell it to you for like six credits or zero credits, very, very uh, good rates. And it's random tech. I like to set them distant. And if you kill them, they're dead. Space critters. It's good to have some, but I usually set it very few because gravel axes still show up quite a bit. And every once in a while, an Ardilus. This I just leave the way it is. That's the default. Now. As you can see, the Gazarian are an insect race, and they have four arms and small wings. One of the things about them is that they eat their enemies, and you're, if you conquer, say, you get a Tekin independent colony and you invade it, you have the ability to eat at least some of them and that gives you happiness they also have uh it doesn't see, yeah here it is they can have intertribal battles which uh increases their spawn rate for a while but decreases their happiness now the other race they added are the Quameno. And they are uh, a fairly strange race. Let's try them. I mean, this is what you got. So if they sign a uh, treaty with another faction, they get happiness and a minus 20% all research for two years. They don't like having unassimilated alien populations in their colonies. If you can build the transcendence hub, you get happiness for five years and a random tech boost. And as you can see, all these things, they are puzzle solvers. They're, they're more into research than anything. I don't use race victory conditions, but this is what they would be. Genio, genocracy. I can't. Genocracy. I. <laughs> it's not a word I'm. I can easily pronounce. So. That's what I'm going to call it. And then, <coughs> because I am who I am, I usually give me an excellent, we're going to, a random starting location. And sometimes I uh, turn this on and add one of each of the other races, just 
this is better, I think. There's 12 other races, they can be anybody, of the playable races. Now, I turn off all these. I like a sandbox game. They have changed this from the way it used to be. I leave on general story events, pre-warp home system, abandoned ships, abandoned bases, debris fields, and gravitic locations. I turn off major threats. Race specific story, yeah. County events, yeah. I've got the music turned down low if you're wondering why it's so low. Because sometimes the music is very much in the background in this game and sometimes it is blaring. And we're just going to start a little bit. I'm just showing off the new stuff and showing that uh, how I start a game. Now, so... Here we go. We got a marsh, a mangrove forest plant. Now, just to make sure of things. I want to see what I got this set at. For some reason, Huh, let's see. Let's go back up here. There's a, I, I'm having a problem with this race I don't have with anybody else. Research. Manual. Now see, other races I have played since this came out, Let me affect this number, but I can't watch. I'll go back down to research. It's back to one. So I don't know what's up why they can only have one research facility. It's really kind of annoying to me, but now what I do, I usually follow this. Up to about this point. Then I add stable warp fields. And then I go back to what they want me to do. Because you don't want to stay in your home system overly long. Okay. Oh, I also always play it on four. Okay, so because, damn it, because uh, we have this government type, we get <coughs> research labs, improved centers and sensors and coordinated control already. Which means, get this done. We can go back into research and add the expanded space stations. Now,
This is what our solar system looks like currently. We're going to go back out here. Now, when we get this moon, we'll get another research station when we explore it and everything. <coughs> so anyhow, what I'm going to do now is go to the game I'm playing. Excuse that while it loads. Because I want to show... Uh, now this is 2817 and uh, humanity is here. Let's go into here. The Akuro are very uh, the fork with us. <coughs> there are two Diute races. The one closest to us only has two systems, two colonies rather, and uh, they're not real happy with us. There's not much we can do about it. The mortal and are angry at us because uh, we have a defense pack with the Tekans and Sukuro attacked the Tekans, therefore we had to declare war on them. The Hakonish, we had a war with them, and afterwards they became very friendly with us. It was a draw, but I guess because we showed them uh, some aggression, they're happy. Now, here are the Akkadians, and they've been at war with the uh, Diude and the uh, Gazurians for quite a while, on and off. And they don't like us. I don't know why. They're just like that. The Tekans are way down here. And they've been having a hard time with the uh, Mortalins. Now, Gazurians, the Deal of Hard, they're just pretty much angry with everybody. Watch, I'll show you. They're at war with the, with the Akkadians. They have no treaties with... Anyone except the pirates. And a couple of uh, those are independent colonies. Now, there's the other day who they don't like us either. The wise Cuomo, who are way over here, are neutral with us and they've stayed neutral with us. The Xenox are friendly with us. And uh, we just discovered that there are Buscara out there. Uh, and they're angry with us, but, you know, basically, we don't know each other. And I, oop. Oh, they're at war with, everybody's at war with the Cadians, I guess. All the insect races, anyway, right? So that's... Pretty much what we got going on in this game. I've been having a lot of problems with money. Okay. Okay. Now let's zoom in down here to see how the war will go. Oh, this is what I'm... See, I can have five on this, on humans. I don't know why I only can have one on the, uh, Clamino. Okay. First of all, yeah, we have, there's Gravelex everywhere. Oh. Wow, I'm making money all of a sudden. Hey, 
Have we? I don't know where our. We're trying to. There's a AI up there we've been messing with. Wow, this is the most money I've had in a couple of years, game years. And as you can see, those are what we're looking at. System government, improved colonization, which includes limited terraforming, ancient guardian tactics, massive energy beams, and stealth. Uh-oh, what's this? Okay, you can read this yourself. Uh-oh. We're going to send our leader. I usually don't pay for unknown system maps. Yeah, we want these people to be our friends, the hook owners, so. Okay. The Diut totality is declared war on the Hakonish. The mortal and are invading the home world of the. Uh, there's going to be a big battle there. Yeah, see, there goes all the money again. Now I should be in the red. No. Try to be peaceful. Okay, I later want to talk to them. Path of the Ancients. Uh oh, they killed our warlord. Okay. Oh, great. Okay, we got that. That's nice. So I'm still uh, military. Now let's see what we got here. We're going to go to Path of the Ancients. I think.
Okay. You can see we got a rebel. Oh, we got more money coming in. Okay. Okay, hold on. Just do the safe. Hey, we'll pay for that. Huh. Who's the human territory? Everybody's declaring war. Oh. Now. Cruisers would be nice. What we need to do is go in here and find out. So the human coalition This is us. That's a pirate faction that we're friendly with. So human coalitions over here. Okay. One of my colonies is split. Interesting. So they're attacking the other county out there. Uh-oh. So over there we got a rebellion. So you can see how strange stuff happens. I made a mistake. I don't know. I think Path of the Ancients is good. Yeah. It's a more peaceful... Where are we going with this? Yeah, we got two wars we got to fight now. Okay, we've crushed the rebellion at Leah's Fog. And I am uh, going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to get something out, and I've kind of paused with Starfield. And, uh, you know, we got things coming up in October, Civilization 2, and I'm still thinking about whether getting uh, this Stellaris spinoff uh, for Star Trek. And uh, you're going to be seeing this late in September. I'm doing it in the middle of September. But uh, I'm continuing to uh, crank out videos every every four or five days and uh, i hope you enjoyed this one and thank you to my newest uh subscriber 
and uh, or subscribers and uh, I will see you in the next video thank you for watching this is mr. inadequate signing out